Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and today it is story time. I'm gonna be telling you guys how I got hacked for a ton of money, and basically how you can prevent this from happening to yourself, because the source of this, the root problem of this, is a GTA 5 mod that myself and a ton of other people installed that turned out to be a Trojan virus. Now, if you don't know what a Trojan virus is, basically a Trojan virus is something that you have to install on your computer itself. You, you, you can't like, they don't have any way of putting it on your computer. They might be able to get access to your computer and install it for you but you personally have to install this thing or download this thing by yourself and a lot of the times it ends up being a trojan virus now a trojan virus works exactly like the trojan horse that's how it's kind of named it gets into the back end of your computer and basically uh just sits there and is just like a ticking time bomb basically whoever is behind the trojan whoever the trojan is sending information to is is going to have all of your passwords all of your information everything that is stored on your computer or anything that is in your web browser that you are logged into he has access to and the main problem with this is that it's something that a lot of you guys probably have because it was found in two different GTA 5 mods. Now, the first one is the Angry Planes mod. So if you've ever downloaded the Angry Planes mod and you have run it in GTA, only if you've ever run it in GTA, this possibly could be affecting you or if you have downloaded and used the simple no clip mod if you've used either of these two mods you probably have a virus on your computer that is going to allow a hacker to if he wanted to go and do what he did to me and steal a whole bunch of stuff and i was actually targeted because i was a youtuber so if you are a youtuber yourself and you have uh, you have these things downloaded know that you are even more at risk because it happened to me and uh, that's kind of the story that i'm gonna tell now so basically i was using my computer i was sitting there just uh, I, I believe i was watching the merryweather fight or Merryweather. I always say Merryweather because I always think of GTA. The Mayweather fight, I was uh, I was watching that just kind of normal day and as just sitting there using my computer, I get an email saying, uh, is, do you want to do you want to uh, confirm this PayPal transfer and do you want to confirm this Steam trade? And I went and I checked my email and I, I they weren't in there. The the emails that I got on my on my phone were not in my inbox. So I look, went and I looked in the trash and sure enough, the emails that I had just been sent had been moved to the trash and had been deleted off my computer a second later. So I refreshed the page, I clicked on it, and it was like, this message has already been permanently removed. So the hacker got into my PayPal account, got into my... Um my Steam account and traded away a ton of like real life or, or real life money Steam items that are worth around like two thousand dollars and he stole fifteen thousand dollars from me. This was two different transfers, but he stole fifteen thousand dollars from me total from my PayPal using this Trojan. And this didn't make any sense. I had two step verification. Everything turned on. But the problem is, if you are logged in on your own computer, this virus. This is I didn't know this at the time. If you're logged in on your own computer, this virus is going to allow them to use your computer without them even without you even knowing. So I was using my computer at the same time he was in the back end of my computer going online and transferring a bunch of money into PayPal. Now I got the PayPal money back, that, that was all good, but as for the Steam items, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get those back. So basically he has stolen $2,000 from me. Whoever made this mod has stolen personally $2,000 from me. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna link a forum down below that kind of will run you through some different checklists. I strongly, strongly recommend you guys download anti-malware or malware bytes. It is free off the internet. You can download it and run it and it will search your computer for malware. It'll scan and you will probably find this virus and you need to remove it. And the second thing you need to do is remove the angry planes and no clip mods from your GTA 5 game because every single time you run it, it is going to reinstall on your computer. And that is, that is basically how they got into my computer and they have actually done some other stuff. And the reason that I say you need to be extra careful if you are a YouTuber is because they actually went into my donation list. They go, they went into my donation software and he changed the email address that I got the donations from, from Noah J to Noah I. So he changed one letter hoping I wouldn't notice and of course all the donations for that day went to that guy because I didn't notice at first and then I realized, hey, I'm not getting these uh, these notifications anymore. Why not? I went and checked and sure enough, he had changed that. Now, if you have this, if you have used the Angry Planes mod before, First of all, first thing you need to do is get rid of it. There's a, I'm just, again, I'm gonna link the forum thread down below. It has a lot of good information in it, and uh, that's gonna tell you how to install it. It's gonna be way, way too long, and I'm not knowledgeable enough, and I don't wanna kinda claim credit for saying, yep, it's gone if you do all these steps, because the, at, the, at the root of it, the only way to get rid of it completely is to freshly install Windows, but uh, I think that's a little bit of an overkill. Maybe not if you have some sensitive information on your computer, but uh, you do need to go through. Make sure you remove this virus, and then change every single pack 
password that you can think of, especially bank account, email, and passwords and stuff like that. Because it, it, he's he's shown in the past with me that he is he's perfectly willing to steal PayPal money, and uh, he he timed it right so when I got paid, he transferred all that money back out to him. And PayPal luckily got that money back for me. But uh, again, with the Steam items, he's he's stolen two thousand dollars from me personally. So uh, again, this is just a warning to you guys. Make sure you go through, you delete those mods, and in the future, the the uh, the modding website that I'm going to be linking every time, they are now implementing a system where they check to make sure every single mod that is on their that on that is on their site has to go through a virus verification first before uh, before this happens so it doesn't happen again and it's just an awful way to start off GTA 5 mods and it's a huge huge problem that uh, that needs to be addressed as soon as possible so again forum link down below it's uh, it's a couple different things but again downward mal download malware bytes and run it on your computer if you have used the angry planes mod or the no clip mod in the past because they they probably have all your information and you need to change everything and make sure that you are secure and uh, everything is happening especially if you are a youtuber because he does seem to be targeting YouTube in this aspect where he changed my donation software anyway guys sad sad news but i'll be updating you guys if i get any more information if you guys did enjoy this video or you did find it useful make sure you hit that thumbs up button subscribe for more daily gta 5 modding videos again i'll probably be back with more modding videos later on today that's not going to stop at all uh i'm just going to make sure every single every single virus is uh is taken care of first and uh, every single just kind of piece of gta 5 modding that i do is uh is secure for everyone anyway guys that is about it i hope everyone has enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video bye bye